man. <laughs> I'm terrible, guys. That's all I've got. As you've just seen, even though I come from Chinese stock, I had a normal Aussie upbringing. But there's one thing I picked up from my Chinese heritage, and that's love for Cantonese food. In particular, the hot pot. The Chinese hot pot has a history of more than a thousand years. Here at famous hot pot restaurant in Little Burke Street, Terence Tao serves up one of Melbourne's best. This is a lobster ball. Lobster ball? Yeah, this Yum. is a lobster ball. I've never had one of these before. Fish tofu. Fish yeah, tofu, fish. okay. The prawns, they are fresh. And this is a chicken ball. Okay. And these are crab meat balls. I love this one the most. My favourite thing about the humble hot pot is that it's interactive. You get to play chef, dipping ingredients into the bubbling broth. It takes you 30 seconds and one minute to cook it. Well, it's sliced so thinly yeah. that it literally cooks in seconds, doesn't it? It's yeah, amazing. Stunning. Another reason I love a good hot pot is the dipping sauce. Terence, is there a favourite sauce that you like to use? Um, satay sauce. Satay, okay. If you like really hot and spicy, you should try with chilli sauce. That's really spicy. What if I put them all together? <laughs> it's fine, you, just, you can customise your own sauce. This is yeah. how I do it, I love it with the egg. But some people don't use the egg and because they think it's freaky, because like, it's raw. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but you know, I always tell them, the meat cooks the egg when you put the meat into oh, it, right? Mm. How's that sauce going? Yum. For the record, Hot Pot is also known as Chinese Steamboat. Just around the corner, you'll find Hutong Dumpling Bar, home to the famous soup-filled dumplings, Xiaolong Bao, another Cantonese favourite of mine. There is an art to eating these dumplings. They're exquisite. The pastry is thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Got spoon at the ready for support. Very delicate skin. I'm gonna dip it in some sauce. And the most important thing to remember is just to take a nip at the neck, let all the steam out, and test the temperature of the soup inside. That's really hot. <laughs> While those are mouth-wateringly good, manager David Lau says there's more to the hutong experience than just great food. I want to let my customers see my surf, what they're doing inside. Yeah, absolutely. What does the name hutongs mean? Yeah, the hutong is the small name in uh, Beijing. Yeah. Time to roll up the sleeves and get hands-on. Today I'm making pork dumplings and luckily, I have some expert help. I show for you first one. Okay. Yeah, and then? Slowly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slowly. Yeah, slowly. <laughs> Mine's not going to be as good as yours. You must start long, 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 long. I am going around and around and around. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm better at eating. <laughs> pork dumpling at Chinese restaurants right around Australia. David, these look great. Yeah. They're obviously not the ones I made. <laughs> <laughs> All the same. All they the look same. delicious. Yeah. How do you say delicious in Cantonese? Yeah, uh, ho ho mei. Ho ho mei. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I learned something today. Yeah. I'm going to keep that one in my repertoire. <laughs> <laughs>